Hey guys, Tyrant here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use Cheat Commands Mod 2 for Company of Heroes 2. This is a great mod, that allows you to set up and test a whole bunch of scenarios really, really easily. Great for figuring things out in the game. As you can see here, it's got loads and loads of options. I'll be running through quite a few of these, quite a few of my favorite settings. Common questions about this, will this get me banned? <laughs> no, this is a mod, it's not a hack. You can't use this in auto match, it's not going to get you banned. So without any further ado, let's get into it. First off, you'll need to subscribe to the mod. So come to the Steam Community tab and then go down to the workshop. If you've got a lot of hours in Company of Heroes 2, you can come down to your playtime and it'll be right here. That's nice and quick. Otherwise, you can type Company of Heroes 2 into the search bar. Now on the Company of Heroes workshop page, type Cheap Commands into the search bar. And this is the one that you want to select, Cheap Commands Mod 2. And then come down here to subscribe. This mod is made by Yan252, so shout outs to him for making such an awesome mod. So to use the mod, come to create custom game. Then go to options, win condition, cheat commands mod, and you've got three options here, annihilation, no win condition, or VP control. So I've got VP control. I also generally like to do it with a fixed location so I know which spawn I'm coming from. On top of that, I generally like to use the uh, map test range map made by trick back in the day this one's really helpful it's got range indicators which makes it easy to set up engagements at specific ranges and maybe help you get familiar with the ranges if you want to do some testing see what they look like it's also a good idea to come in with no commanders equipped if you want to take full advantage of that so just load it up here right click and then unequip all of those add a computer player and you're ready to roll so you load it in and now I want to show you a quick demonstration just show you the real power of this mod and how quickly you can do everything. So when I load in generally I like to do uh, these commands here fog of war off, AI off, speed ups on, resources give myself some bonus resources. Now I'm ready to roll I've got resources I've got everything I need to test just about anything. So let's go say uh, Obersoldaten, the uh, LMG. Get some conscripts, get the sandbags going for them. Maybe we want the overs to be uh, vetted up. Or vet 3. And you can also see the strength of this map, you know, you can set the exact range that you want these units to be at. And then we turn them to enemy and there we go. In under a minute we're testing a scenario that in game would be very very hard to set up ordinarily even with a friend helping you so yeah this is really really powerful mod for testing things out also if you want to capture a cinematic or something you want to set up a specific scenario a specific map cheat commands mod is the way to go all right now let's run a test involving some vehicles we'll go for the uh, soviet kv1 Maybe you've heard that the KV-1 has like a received damage bonus compared to other tanks. You're like, well, what is a received damage bonus? What does that mean in terms of in-game action? I don't really understand that. So we'll spawn one in now. What we're going to do is uh, disable it from auto-attacking. So when I start shooting at it with my tank, it won't shoot back, which is really helpful in a lot of scenarios that you're trying to set up. Switch this over to be the enemy. And then we're going to go health display table. Now we can see exactly how much health the KV-1 loses per hit. Then we're going to spawn in another tank, say a uh, Panzer IV. And let's see what happens. Okay, so we're bouncing that shot. There we go, you can see, oh that's an unusual amount of health. So that's what the received damage bonus is doing that's really helpful and then say you want to move this around so you're no longer controlling it but you can come down to the command squad go to move now you can move the enemy vehicle quite easily if you just want to do something you reverse it simple as say you've got like a uh, special unit maybe something's got a bunch of upgrades something that you want to do multiple tests with you can also come over to the clipboard Use copy and then paste. Unfortunately, it hasn't copied the skin over here, but you can see it's copied the veterancy. So 
So basically exactly the same in terms of stats and upgrades. Okay, now we've, we upgraded the machine gun. Now with the clipboard, we paste it across and it's got the machine gun. So that's really cool. Uh, clipboard functionality, very, very helpful when setting up multiple tests. Another great application for the Cheat Commands mod is testing out commander abilities that you don't own. Maybe you're thinking about picking up a commander and you're like, oh man, but I don't really know what that ability does. Well, Cheat Commands makes it really easy and this is why you want to have no commanders equipped because it makes it much easier. So say we want to try the MA3 cluster bombs from US Forces. Come down to US Forces, commander abilities. And then there's a really cool filter here. You've got all the commander abilities. And you can filter them out. So uh, we know that MA3 cluster bombs is a munitions base. So we untick the other two. And there we go, MA3 cluster mines. Close that menu and then you can see, oh yeah, requires seven command points. So we'll add a couple more command points. Here it is. Maybe test it out, see what it does against some uh, box grenadiers. Put in the uh, black half track. Panzer four. Turn them on the enemy. And let's see what happens. Okay, so it doesn't seem to be doing too much vehicle vehicle damage. But it seems to do more to light vehicles than to the tanks. Does quite a lot of it to infantry. Man, I really want to buy this commander now. And that took just a few seconds to test that. So yeah, if you don't have all the commanders unlocked, but you think about picking one up, or just if you want to learn about them so they don't seem so strong as you're facing them, so you can understand them and overcome your opponent, Cheat Commands offers a lot of opportunities in that department. Another great function of Cheat Commands mod is achievement completion. Say this achievement here where you have to build 10 bunkers in a match. Even in a 4v4 team match, a super long match, building that many bunkers is probably going to lose you the game. So what you can do instead is come into cheap mods. We'll go for speed ups, resources, and a whole bunch of stuff. Territory, I'm too lazy to uh, even capture the territory here. So I'm just gonna capture all the territory on the map. Put down a pyro squad. And then uh, get going on the bunkers. I believe for this particular Achievement, you do have to be Ossia, or maybe you could be OKW with Fortifications Commander as well. I'm not entirely sure, but I tried this as Soviets and I don't think it registered. So worth noting that might be the case for a couple of these achievements if you're trying to do them with factions in Cheat Commands mod. It may not work. So there we go, that part of the achievement is done now. But say your achievement requires you to win the game afterwards and you don't really want the VPs to drain down, you don't want to waste all that time. Instead what you can do is come down to Game here in game and then set the winning team. In my case, it's gonna be me. Confirm, it says five seconds time, I'm gonna win the game. So yeah, really, really handy for farming achievements is Cheat Commands mod. And now I'm at four out of 15 in that achievement. Initially, I thought there might be a minimum time you had to be in game for the achievement to count, but that doesn't appear to be the case, but you may need to be the right faction for the achievements to count. A couple achievements are for units that don't even exist in the game anymore such as Irregulars, which used to be in Soviet Reserve Army. So to access these remove units, what you need to do is come to the settings, unlock remove commander abilities, there'll be a warning, hit confirm, and you're underway. So you come down to Soviets, we're going for the Irregulars, remove commander abilities, Soviet Irregulars, now we have them as a commander ability. You know, I've put the uh, instant cooldown on, so I can call in a whole bunch of these, and get to killing. Then spawn in some enemies, and achievement complete. Another feature that's available with Cheat Commands Mod 2, if you come to the Victory Points and Mode, and then scroll down, you can see Host Only Cheats. So this means that only you as the host will get access to the cheat menu. So you could set up some really funny matches, maybe you invite a couple of your friends, they battle it out in a 1v1, and then you as the host, you throw in a couple extra surprises here and there to spice things up, maybe some off maps, maybe you boost the resources of one of the two players, whoever's losing or something like that. You could create some real Clown Fiesta matches with this mod. The final use case I want to cover is for creating cool cinematic battles. Maybe you want to record this for video. 
So what I'm going to do is spawn in a whole bunch of units, set up a battle, and I'll go from there. So I've got my battle set up now, and what I'm going to do is I've got all my guys on control group 1 for allies, control group 2 for Axis. I'm going to set them all to invulnerable for this particular scene. There we go, both invulnerable. I've also loaded in a couple commander abilities. We've got the incendiary artillery, I'm going to drop that on the Axis. The light artillery barrage, I'm going to drop that on the Soviets. And then we come down to the MISC menu and then go to the director. So kind of similar to uh, spawning units, you've got a cross here and you can set your positions. So in this case, I'm gonna angle the camera roughly how I want it. Something like this. Gonna set position AG, and I find it's kind of good to uh, set a little bit further back than when you, where you want to start recording from. Gonna set position A, scroll forwards, similar story here set position B because it kind of uh, tapers off a little bit on speed it kind of like ramps up a bit at the start tapers off a bit at the end so it's good to go a little bit ahead and behind and then uh, pan A to B or pan from A to B in this case as you can see extremely slow at the moment so I'm not really too big of a fan of that so you can ramp up the panning speed this particular battle I think I'll go for about uh, a bit under 3 0.003 and uh, here you can see you've got a couple of options on top of this. Disable UI during pan for the full cinematic experience. And disable input during pan if you don't want to accidentally produce input. that will uh, cause some issues. So we'll have a quick look on how that looks now. Maybe the pan had a tiny bit too fast but not, not too big of an issue. So let's get recording. So I'm going to go selection, own an enemy. Drop the light artillery barrage, drop the incendiary barrage, miss, director, pan A to B. Now I'm recording this. Artillery dropping down, nice. Aim artillery out the back. Easy as pie, nice cinematic moment. Obviously, you could set this up a lot better. Here's a quick demonstration for you guys. Note that if you try and watch the replay, that's what happens with the camera there. You don't get the smooth pan using follow camera in a replay. We'll just go straight from point A to point B really, really quickly. So you have to do those kind of cinematics live. So there's a look at Cheat Commands Mod 2, my favorite mod for Company of Heroes 2. And I've only really just scratched the surface of what's possible, covering a few of my favorite functions, but there's a whole lot more on offer. So if you like what you see here, I urge you to give it a shot yourself. A special thank you goes out to Yan252 for making such an awesome mod and my Patreon backers. 